they're not going to show up early like the Geo players. You know, they're on time. They're ready to go. They got their dogs. They're <laughs> out at 5 a.m. Leo players, they're going to sleep in. It's going to be 2 p.m., you know, 6 p.m. They're going to show up as if the party was waiting for them. So let's see if this one is a, a party of Leo or the big thinkums. So Shoshin again going up against Goonie Corn. Going back. I've seen this matchup countless times. You know, Potemkin can get a little bit going on and make some big punishes, but the way Leo can just maneuver around with these big normals can be so difficult for Potemkin, especially once Leo manages to kind of navigate some of Potemkin's larger, larger normals. That uh, Megafist is going to be really important to Shoshin to be able to get in, but right now, it's all Goonie Corn. High Fructose Edition. It's real sweet for him. Ooh. Gets a wall break. Here we go. Party time. Positive bonus. This is going to have enough meter for RC very soon. Doesn't have to be too much, but get a whiff punish to finish the job. Beautiful. Again, that's one of the key things you'll see Leo playing in this matchup. It's kind of just staying outside of Potemkin's range and then using a lot of these tools that allow Leo to move forward on the attack to get whiff punishes if the Potemkin player tries to swing. Making a swing and we're back turn. We're back swinging. The cross up, Berserker Slash, gonna make it last. PRC to keep it going, blocked up the burst. Yeah, I got some thirst, let me quench it. Okay, try to get a dunkle, but nice jumping dust counter hit to find something. And now Shoshin, okay, a lot of bar used. Nothing to show for it, and it's gonna be scary here, as Goonie just needs one more solid hit, and that'll do it with the far slash counter hit. I saw a 6P there, and I like the idea of it. It didn't work out in that situation, but Shoshin trying to use a 6P, it's a pretty big hitbox, and Leo reaches pretty far with the uh, upper body normals, even on ground. So I like the idea. It didn't work out. Maybe you can go back to it, but Goonie Corn, I mean, it's Leo time. Once you get going, you get you just get excited. You start round star flash kicking all over the place, and you don't stop. Hey, if Potemkin's going to reach, I'm going to teach. Keep your hands to yourself, you dirty grappler. And the pressure's on. We're going to see immediate burst on the RC. It's a little dangerous, but it works out. Oh, we're already back in again. Unicorn with the turbulence finish. Overhead, huge flush frames. All the math. And the going through the glass. All right, anything here from Unicorn. It finished it. And beautiful RC into flash kick. Just got right under that man's butt. He said, you're going to put your buns out there. I'm going to put something in them. That's all oh I'm telling you. Oh, my God. I don't know if, he ain't, if you got a license for that. I don't really trust. <laughs> Leo White Fang be doing that kind of check on me. He does a lot of reading. You know, maybe, <laughs> maybe a couple medical books in there. But speaking of reads, Goonie Corn has Shoshin down to the letter. Shoshin's going to have to switch it up a little bit. There's the JS. You get some really silly combos off of this. Here it is. Harlem Globetrotters, baby. And there's the dunk, like you said. Going to the rim with Potemkin. Takes a real man to be able to grab Potemkin like that. And now Goonie Corn does a nice. Ooh, why is he, instead of getting a punish, yeah, it's separate from bar, a little punky, but hey. Hey, whatever works for you. Speaking of work, Shoshin trying to put the hard hat on. Slide head interrupted by the heavy projectile. Nice spacing as well from Goonicorn, making sure that the Mega Fist situation doesn't blow him up from using the projectile. There's a burst right there. Shoshin doesn't got a lot of life left. 6P just for the defense, but you got to come in. Yeah. You try to go through, but you see how much Goonicorn has just been moving around and just been patient, waiting for the opportunity. One more hit can do it, and that far slash is going to go two up for Goonie Corn, who's just playing at a perfect range and is showing enough patience, not letting Shoshin get anything for free. And Shoshin's just approach has been getting met super well. So it's going to be a big change from Shoshin if he really wants to start bringing this back. It certainly is. And seeing a Leo player back off in space like that would concern me if I was on the other side because that is going to be, that means that they're thinking, and that's scary. Blocked up the burst though, Shoshin, with the cash out all the way after using that goal. Burst 6 bless up into the Garuda. Gonna do it again. Run that Oki. Oh, got caught, maybe trying to 6, 6K. The back turn mix from Goody. Now he gotta get the left, right, up, down. Oh my goodness, which way did he go? Which way did I don't he go? Know. Which way did he go? Which way did he go, George? Which way? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But not today. Through the wall we go. I see where he went. And then, okay, PRC and just advantage here. Getting close to getting a chip out too. Opportunity for Shoshin if he can get an RC maybe. How do YRC to stay alive? Oh! Hit him with the one of those pop buster. Had him look down at his feet while he was grabbing him. Like, yo, check that on the ground. What? Got him. GG. Yeah, beautiful Hail Mary play. 
Shoshin now on the board. That's building up a little bit of that confidence. Let's see if they can make what, what Shoshin can do with it. Oh, good reaction. Grabbing that's the, the dash group. Yeah, the Berserker Slash being scooped up really is good for Shoshin to show, like, hey, I'm not sleeping at the wheel, right? Like, you may have two on me, but you're going to have to earn the rest. Garuda, PRC, nothing doing, though. Unicorn getting out a little bit of trouble. Body Slash blocked up. Oh, the flick away. A little too early for that. The trade from both players just getting knocked down. But now Unicorn back to that big offense. Back to the backroom pressure. Wake up grab. Oh, ooh, Shoshin on the verge of getting on the board here. Oh my goodness. The jam. Trying to slam. Oh yeah, baited out oh. the flash game. We did two, of course. Of course. Of course they did. Unicorn trying to make it more than par for the course. Trying to get that birdie. Oh, so scary. It's going to be some good damage here. The wall break may not be enough, but there we go. Never mind. Back turn heavy does it. And now Gunicorn on match point after Shoshin kind of flubbed the, the potential round win to yeah. at least stay alive. Didn't, didn't really seal the deal there. Might come back to bite him. Gunicorn, though, getting blessed up on. Shoshin now patient in the Mega Fist over on the light projectile. This is going to hurt. Big punish Garuda into the P bust. That's what I want to see the first time when we saw those double flash kicks. Oh, the wall break conversion. I like it. Shoshin with a huge life lead. Burst available on deck and positive bonus. If they ever have a chance to make oh. it through, this is it. But got to watch out like that. Yeah, got to be careful with those. Blocks the overhead, but gets hit with the turbulence. And again, the wall's flat. And we're going back over there. I left my wallet. We got to go back <laughs> to 1985. Oh, my God. Air dash goal burst. But the super's going to get caught. Gigantor's throw. Yo. Double big dunk. RC. This should be just enough. And Unicorn with a huge comeback to get the 3-0. You saw Unicorn look Ooh. up too like, woo, that was, that was close. That was scarier than it, than it looks on the paper because even though it was a 3-0, you could feel Shoshin starting to warm up to the situation, starting to be able to put some answers out there. Had a lot of really good reads on Unicorn's wake-up scenarios. Burst was blocked, flash kick was blocked, and he had the punish locked. So. Uh, if I'm Goonicorn, I am thankful that I was able to get out of there before Shoshin wake up, woke all the way up. Yeah, that was really just taking it back. I cannot, you cannot afford to give Potemkin more room or more momentum than you, they really deserve. So once you kind of stop that, it was just perfectly timed, that huge comeback. I mean, you know what they say, Goonies never say die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is certainly, especially in a game like Strive, I mean, it is such a... You can just have strive rounds where you just make two wrong guesses and, well, I guess, you know, I guess there's next game. And even though it's first to three, if you can get one game in strive, you can get three. I've seen tons of reverse sweeps in this game just based off momentum alone. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, good stuff for Goonicorn for realizing, like, hey, yep. we're stopping Whoa. here. We're not, Whoa, hold on there. Grapplers, no, no, you go over there. You, we're keeping that space. I don't want you anywhere near my nice two. Yeah. <laughs> you put a one on there, it's a gap we get closed. I'm not about it. Uh -uh, no, you're going to scuff it up and everything. 